everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited about this painting that I'm doing in this video. I decided that it would be kind of fun to do a series of videos with this painting just because it's a painting that's taken me quite a long time. It's taken me about three years because it always gets put on the back burner when I have other projects. So I thought as I finish this in the next few months, because it's really my goal to finish it in the next few months, and to have it all the way done so I can hang it and possibly put it in my Etsy shop. So I thought it would be kind of fun to just show you guys the process of making this painting as well as um, kind of having you guys see it as and not showcase it at all. This painting is inspired by a conversation that I had with my dad a few years ago and I always think of like those inspirational posters and you know how they have like one word like courage and then it has this picture of what courage is. So this painting that I'm about to show you has a word that is exposed, like the name of the painting is like this one word like you see those posters. It's a little different though, but I thought it would be kind of fun if you guys guessed what that might be and let me know what you think it might be in the comments below. Um, but yeah, but I'm not going to let you know until the very, very end when the painting's all the way done. But make sure you stay tuned so you can get all the exciting content and to know what this painting is going to be. I'm not going to really explain much more than that. So let me show you what the painting looks like. Okay, so here is the painting. It's a nice, glorious octopus. And I absolutely love octopus. I think they are one of the most amazing creatures in the entire world. And so, as you can see, I've done pretty much a good portion of it. it I mean, the octopus needs more tentacles and more um, other things. But I'm not going to reveal what this painting is going to look like. You're just going to have to see as time goes on. So, let's get started. Okay, I know I've said it before, but I really, 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 really love this painting. I think it's because that I've put a lot of time and effort into it, and I just have been really making sure that it looks amazing. I really want this painting to emulate, like, a lot of hard work. Because a lot of hard work did go into it, so... I want it to look like a lot of hard work went into it. Um, one thing that I loved as I started this painting when I did the head of the octopus is I got this brush and it's just a small little wedge brush and it does amazing texture and I think in one of the videos um, I'm going to do in the future I'll show you what brush I use but this brush is absolutely amazing for just creating really cool texture like if you put your hand on this painting you can feel the texture of the paint and it kind of pops out more which gives it this whole 3d effect which I think is so awesome and like I said again I've never done something like this before but it really really was an exciting it is an exciting thing to and an exciting experience and I'm having so much fun doing this painting. The cool thing about this octopus is it's just um, is it's just five colors and two of them are different shades of red and then it's kinda cool just to see how using just the simplest amount of color on a painting can make it look amazing. The reason why you can't see the entire painting when I did this is because I'm dealing with minimal amounts of space and I wanted you to see just the areas that I was working on at the moment and not just the entire thing. So I hope that that comes across as okay, but I figured that would be better just to show you what areas I was working on at the moment versus the entire painting all at once and me just working on one little section. So I really tried to zoom in for you guys so you could see what I was doing. I had a little trouble with this tentacle, where to put it, how to place it, but overall I think that it turned out really well. There was some overlapping that I had to kind of 
you know, make sure one was colored a little darker than the other so that you could see both of them. But other than that, like, I really, really am impressed with this painting. And I think I did a really good job. Even though it's not finished, I'm excited for the parts that are finished, if that makes any sense. Another reason why I chose an octopus is because I absolutely love octopus. They are one of my favorite animals. I think they are just so majestic. I think they're just this excitingly weird animal that people don't always see as amazing, but in reality they truly are. And they kind of like don't get the spotlight often when they should, I think. But they're just such amazing creatures, such amazing to just look at them and be in awe of this amazing animal. And they are extremely smart and they can do amazing things like fit through like the smallest holes. I've always, always, always have been fascinated by octopus. And that being said, I've always been fascinated by animals in general, but I've always been fascinated by animals that look weirder than other animals, if that makes any sense. I don't know. But I think they are just absolutely fun. You'll have to excuse all my art supplies and all my stuff at the side there. It was really hard to get a good angle and show you all the parts of the painting without getting all the other stuff in it as well, but I really don't think it matters because the painting speaks for itself and everything else is just, you know, not worth looking at. But once again, I just really love this painting and I'm so excited to show you guys this painting. So excited. And I think that's all I have time for right now, but... Well, I hope you like this video. This is a painting that makes me super happy and I'm super excited about and I hope you are just as excited about it as I am. And I'm going to give you a quick um, look through um, just to show you what I did and what to look forward to in the next video. Um, but be sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right? Okay, here is the rest of the video. Or, I mean, the painting of what I just did. Just going to show you what I did so far. That's what I'm doing. Yep. Okay, so here's what I did so far. He has more tentacles, which is awesome. And there is some things that I do need to touch up. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, the tentacles aren't completely finished, but that's all I have time for right now. But I'm going to go in and fix that in the future. But yeah, here it is so far since I did what I did in this video. Alright, be sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below.